This is going to be for those of you who are definitely in an ascension process as a twin flame journey. And I consider twin flame a soul ascension. So either way, all of you who've been in my collective have been through and are still going through some huge ascensions, huge transformation, huge healing. But today specifically, I will tap into a lot of twin flame energy that I feel coming in. A lot of you are definitely seeing each other in your dreams with your with um, the twin flame. And those who have already, I, I want to say, are past the the stage of thinking or believing that you have to physically be with your twin flame and i say this because i'm one virgos but who understand that maybe in this lifetime is not a physical union um but yet there's always a spiritual collaboration and so i'm feeling this energy of you your twin kind of really assisting you with a lot of um masculine energy um, to bring you back into your feminine so again back into empress energy which is where this healing path for virgos have been for a while so um i'm gonna hear bottom of the deck flirt but i really feel extend your light-hearted energy to others and what's happening is again i really feel flirty is to bring you back to your feminine energy there's a healing of the feminine energy happening here um, a lot of you are seeing your twin in your dreams retrograde has been really intense with the energies lately and you know they always say exes come back but they don't necessarily need to physically come back to you exes come back in dreams so a lot of you may have been having dreams of exes and what happens is that those dreams usually teach us something that's where the mirror happens that's where the lessons happen that's where we do some um, there's a spiritual lesson to kind of tap into that dream and kind of understand what's still unresolved. So the next two cards we have here is calling in your soulmate and new love. And I really feel this is a preparation because this is clearly a love read, Virgo. And a lot of my collectives have been very, 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 very single. Um, but I really feel there's an elevation in your spirit that's finally going to have your energy a lot of you are reaching this very light-hearted energy um, and finally the energy of flow let's focus on the energy of flow solar plexus healing which is going to lead to this new connection new love because of the energetic frequency that you're carrying so let's get into the main spread i know all that but i had to say it let's see what we've got for you virgo So there it goes. Confidence. Yes, we've been working on your self-worth. In this deck, it's called Power. This is the Strength card. Leo energy. A lot of you have um, Leo in your chart, but also 8-8 eight, eight portal was very, um, it was what created this energetic surge. And I, I believe it because I've got the Eight of Wands here. Um, but the other thing is in all the, in the Rider, Waiter, um, Rider Way Tarot, the empress is is with the lion and this is you taming you know your confidence creating strength and this whole journey has been really building on you um six of pentacles i feel like you're finding a level of balance now and you're reaching a, a space that um again it just feels light it feels like you're finally coming into yourself oh. I can't make this up. I swear, Virgo, you guys are my empresses. Like every reading and it's it's been such a journey. I mean, I feel this for you. And some of you are in different timelines. 
Virgo, but I've been feeling this for some time. And when I do readings, I, you know, since all of you are in different timelines, but I'm experiencing the energies in the now. So this is why I speak the way I do. Yes, you guys have been in this nine of swords. Um, if you've been seeing my reads, I always speak of how you guys carry air quality, um, lots of air, air qualities in this nine of swords but also nines represent main minor arcanas of the hermit, which is the hermit, right? The number nine as well. So it's, it's this development that you're doing in mastering a lot of your areas of, so here we are with tower, a disruption to me, that's the energy surge. And here goes the energy surge with the eight of wands in this deck called Accel accelerated motion. So all this, is really to create this energy change to really lighten you up heal and uh, this has been such a journey but a lot of you are going to come out of this maybe have epiphanies here where again this confidence gain um, maybe meet this new person because of this energy surge page of wands wanted to show up so okay give me more of this emperor spirit so what do we have yep queen of wands three of cups and temperance so this patience um, in what you've been come becoming this queen of wands the confidence so great I think finally a lot of you are finding your way and some of you will definitely with this three of cups start dating which is where this new soulmate will start show up for a lot of you um, maybe some of you are even nervous with this nine of swords of going out there but a lot of you might start meeting new people start dating i also feel this energy of with this queen of wands is still still continue to work on yourself a lot of you are just either in this process of working yourself and loving yourself right your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive is embodying this queen of wands so a lot of you probably physically made a goal to to work on yourself you know really feel good really feel you know empress has high sex appeal so this is a lot again confidence we're back with the confidence um and then eight of pentacles working on yourself the efforts made to really work on you so give me more of this and the queen of cups wanted to come out i'm gonna put her back but i feel there's again a queen here showing up so that means there's a lot of um mastery happening a lot of healing taking place game are this nine of swords by the nine of swords you know working on your emotions game are this nine of swords here we go the seven of cups so a lot of you um i feel like you're getting a lot of dreams with the seven of cups and I feel a lot of you back to that twin flame energy that your twin flame is introducing a lot of, um, I feel a lot of messages. There's telepathy probably happening with you guys as well. I didn't have these other cards I would have probably wanted, but a lot of telepathy want to bring you back to your power. Nine of Pentacles. This is pre Empress energy. So there's like a confidence built up, right? For a new beginning, the fool to get you out of your own head, eight of swords. So there's some, um, I just feel some telepathy happening here where in this nine of swords, you know, there was some indecision done, but a need to find inspiration. Um, and then obviously a desire for a commitment. A lot of you have also, um, I've picked up where you guys were changing a lot of your family dynamics here with this 10 of pentacles and your belief system. Give me more on this 10 of pentacles. Yeah. So you're manifesting something different. I think, um, it's like, a, I've, I'm hearing redefining what commitment means to you and how it looks. And I think there's still with this nine of swords, it's still, a, a resolving because the issue is, um, I feel that the issue that I feel Virgos have is that they're they're not 
they're not a fan virgos you guys are not a fan of uncertainty um so this is where the stress factor and the anxiety of the unknown comes in but i really feel that this action is needed with the knight of wands can you know knight of wands and finding this this um Again, the energy, yes, your ener and extend your lighthearted energy to others is to lighten up the energy. There's like a fire that you need. Come on, this Knight of Wands. We've got judgment, yep, and the lovers. So there's, you know, I feel hesitation with the pursuit of connections, but this is a judgment call. And this, this, how you go about it it really high it really depends on these decisions you make two of wands and i really feel perspective with this two of wands give me more of this two of wands ace of swords clarity you know a breakthrough some um some mental clarity needs to come in like you're being gifted some level of clarity to make a choice ace of wands is a new beginning and so you're you're needing to make a choice with clarity and to define this also it ace, ace of swords is integrity yeah your emotions need to be more in tuned with your your decisions but ace of swords is integrity authenticity and um and just truth so there's an honesty necessary here in terms of your judgment call your inspiration um, your contribution with the knight of wands the action taken from your part as well um give more of this tower so we have a disruption let's see what this disruption is because i can't even figure it out okay more of this disruption so i'm not even surprised something new is coming here I think a lot of you are going to be on this effort because look at that nine of pentacles again and i really feel it's happening in your dreams king of pentacles ace of cups and the ace of swords is back again so there it goes there is a need to attack four of cups the devil um i really feel just this past energy of um not seeing the cup not nurturing the space of yourself not letting yourself go free um, be a little more open to relationships the lovers due to the past six of cups but i feel there's this newness coming so you're getting ready for new Spirit is helping you get ready for this. You're going to be extremely stable. A lot of you probably are really going to come. Um, money might be right. So a lot of you might get very fortunate in terms of money. And this might help a lot in other areas as well. And it's going to help your self-love and your clarity. I think also perspective. Some of you may be meeting another earth sign, Aries, Oh my god you might meet an aries i don't know why i said aries if i'm saying earth sign taurus virgo capricorn so you might meet another earth sign as well okay more of this eight of wands okay spirit so clearly the fool game more of this eight of wands that card did not want to go back and the star beautiful so the fool is here this energy surge is to bring you to your higher self the star your confidence level for you to be more open things are changing this is good a lot of you may come across this new love i'm going to clarify this with another deck because clearly new is here game on this new love for virgo oh yes so new love the fool the chariot and the two of cups look at that you guys are meeting someone new it could be a gemini a cancer you guys have um aquarius here again we talked about earth sign um, it could be a taurus it could be um a leo a sagittarius libra but here goes your new love here virgo finally finally virgos i can't wait I think a lot of you who um, 
really started, you know, with this twin flame journey, has walked through some, and this is specific, not all of you, but this is why I wanted to be, to kind of isolate the twin flame journey. It's when you reach the stage of the journey of still appreciating your masculine, but also feeling so good within yourself. And this is where the hard work gets, like truly pays off. Let's see what's the untold message of the heart here. Because I feel like so much has happened through dream, dream, dream state. What's the untold message of the heart of for um, Virgos? What's the untold message of the heart for Virgos? nervous you make me lose my cool and i just don't know how to act in your presence so someone's definitely going to be very nervous and ghost i won't stay for i won't stay for very long i'm sorry so a lot of you your twin had ghosted and they were just there for a season there were issues with rejection here i'm uneasy about myself i don't know if i can truly make you happy and that's normal, you know, and this is where a lot of the energies, the triggering starts, I feel, with the journey. But I really feel this energy of dream state with with a lot of you, with your, your twin. And the truth is, is leading you to something extremely new. And this higher, um, it's like a strong will, willpower with, um, you know, finding new love. All right, Spirit, give me more. What is the blockage for Virgos? What is the blockage for Virgos? Definitely healing needs to take place. So continue the healing process here, Virgos because this is definitely a setup for success yeah continue continue the healing process aware stop sweeping it under the rug so um i do feel dreams have been big for you guys and a lot of things came into awareness no more hiding and a lot of you is from that tower moment where it's like this it's it's very action card here i feel all right let's see what other guidance there goes storm. Even through difficulties, you can rest assured that this storm will pass. Just go with the flow. It will it will be over soon. And then, of course, soul connections. You have met a person who you feel a deep connected connection with. This could be a soulmate, karmic soul, or even your twin flame. You were destined to meet so you can learn life lessons from each other. This is not always easy, but it will be worth it. Treasure these people because they are rare. Exactly. So a lot of you are meeting a new soulmate. A lot of you are in this twin flame. That's why it's saying, that's why I say, you know, it's never easy. That journey is never easy, but what it does is heal you so you can actually align to other soul contracts that are more in alignment to where you are. And this, ele this elevation of you, Empress energy, really was through a lot of hard work which clearly spirit is saying a lot of hard work with the eight of pentacles and patience with the temperance it, this was not easy and it's kind of like a graduation you're you'll get to celebrate now and you finally meet the soul tribe three of cups and your soul connections a soulmate and clearly you're calling in the right people now the right energy flow is here you clearly have soulmate energy here the fool and more um determination to uh, to life more um there's just this energy that i feel that you're it feels good that's all i can say you're you're moving you're moving ahead virgo okay spirit let's see what do we got nothing on days i feel like nothing i remember the vast nothingness of space there is beauty in the state of nothing you know these are the spaces of void you know when you have those spaces so there was a lot of those blah moments um where we just felt nothing we felt nothing and in that nothing sometimes the storm comes in 
but yet we feel nothing. And honestly, I, I always feel that when that void happens, it's because something big is coming because it's, it's, it's almost like a numbing experience, but it's one of those things where you just have to let it be and still walk through it. So <sighs> new love coming Virgo. It really is on the other side. Embrace it. Keep working on yourself. I love you.